Welcome to our five minute stock tips segment where I share with you very quick information within five minutes or less, at least I try to. So in this session, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at looking at the decimal formatting in Thinkorswim for your Greeks. Uh, basically what happens is, is that a lot of people go into the Greeks and all the Greeks may look the same or very similar. So instead what we want to do is format those decimal places. So for example, if you're looking at Delta or Theta and you only see two decimal places, maybe now you want to see three or more decimal places. And this is very handy to do with stocks that have the same decimal point or areas or a lot of different strikes. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look, go to that screen right here. So as we go and check this out right here, I am in Thinkorswim, I've got Starbucks. And if you look at the Delta right here, as you scroll down, you can see there's, hey, you know, tons of Delta, but there are two decimal places. And this is fine on a stock like Starbucks because they are very different. You have a 0 0.65 then a 0 0.44 going to the different strikes. However, here's a bit of the issue is when you start dealing with something like the SPX, uh, the problem comes down to uh, going in and let's say we go to the standard 30 day here and we start scrolling down. Here is where things get a little bit convoluted. I've got a delta of 14, 14, 14, and 15, 15, and 16, and 16, and they all look the same. So which one do you choose? And this is where setting up a few more decimal places helps out. So what we do is we go to settings, then we go to application settings. Now, from here, there's a lot of different settings, and you can go ahead and click around to all of these different settings. There's a ton of different stuff you could do, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the display area here. Once you're in the display, you can see this decimal places for the Greeks. You can click here and you can go to three, and we can hit apply in settings. And what you can see is now we've got three decimal places. So I know that now the 16 one that I was looking at, I've got a 16.8 really, or 0.168 or 0.163, or here is, uh, the three 14s that we were looking at. So I got 0.149, which is almost like a 15 or 0.144 or 0.140. So you can see that one. And if you really want to take things even further, depending on how crazy you want to get, we can even go to four or five decimal places. Let's go ahead and do that. And now you've got a very long number that could actually be more convoluted than you want. But point being is, if you want to go ahead and expand things this far, you could go ahead and do it. In either case, this also applies to looking at things here if we go in and just um, uh, buy an option or let's just say we uh, buy a vertical spread in the same way. You can also use this in the Analyze tab where now you have more decimal places here to kind of look at 3.14909 on your Vega, which you know, you may not want to take it that far. I personally do about three decimal places. So anyways, I hope this quick little tip uh, helps you out. Truly appreciate you sticking with me. And by all means, feel free to check out some of the other great videos. I'll see you next time in another episode. Take care.